Well, Steve, thanks for letting us stop at the river on the way to Nautiloids. It's a beautiful place. This is where the conventional story tells us it's this river that carved all of this out. It is, and as we look at rivers, there's a power in thinking about a modern river and what it might do, such as I rode a big canyon. Uh -huh. Let me show you two things right away, and uh, let's de delve into some, some thinking about the canyon. Uh, we have a 10,000 cubic feet per second flow down the Colorado River here. Present. Presently. Mm -hmm. And we have this granite gorge sitting here. Do you think that granite gorge was cut by the action of a, of a flow like this today? That's what the story says. That's what the story says. There are historic photographs about 150 years old showing rapids here in the Colorado River. And we can come back and look at the rapids now. The boulders in the rapids haven't changed position. It's interesting that the rapids haven't changed over 150 years. And there have been some pretty big floods between then and now, haven't yes, there? Yes, uh, there have been floods over 25 times the present flow of the river. A quarter million cubic feet per second have been going down the, the channel of the Colorado River. That's a really big flood. It is. Okay, but it still didn't move the boulders. Uh -huh. Okay, and the channel is lined, the side of the channel of the river is lined by slope boulders that have fallen into the bank of the river, and the bank of the river is stable, not just the rapids. And the bottom of the river is stable. It's full of uh, gravel and sand. So the, the Colorado River is in deepening or widening the canyon. So the ultimate question is, what cut what cut the granite gorge? Right. Here? If it wasn't it wasn't the river, then how in the world do we get all this material out of here?